Only two, that was a really weird would. tournament. <laughs> so. Here we are. I'll be down already, Kotonowaka about to follow. I'll be to the right, Kotonowaka to the left. And here they go. The throat thrust from RB as always, but Kotonowaka so strong, so steady. Can RB even fight back? There's no gimmicks against Kotonowaka. Overpowered, outplayed, outthrusted, pushed out. I might have something to say about that, or will Kotonowaka continue marching forward towards potential Ozeki pr promotion? Kotonowaka standing strong, pulling back, but Gonoyama staying square, pushing forward. Now it's Kotonowaka back on the attack, slowing it down, trying to fight for an inside right grip on the belt. But Gonoyama, now he's back on the push. Used against him is that momentum. Kotonowaka going for the throw. A great throw at that. Midori Fuji down and ready, takes the charge, tries to get to the side, but Kotonowaka contains him with Morozashi grip, tries to get that right hand inside underneath and pulls him down. Punishes Midori Fuji for trying to go low. Says, if you want to go low, I'll put you down. Tommy Fuji got low, chest to chest, trying to control, but sidestepped and slapped down. Kotono Waka shakes him off. Kotono Waka trying to attack the shoulders. Uda, a good push low on a good pull afterwards, but Kotono Waka goes for the pull, gets the outside right on the belt. Uda tries to escape, tries to turn away, and none of it works. Kotono Waka runs him out of the ring from behind. Five and oh! Motonawaka down first. Wakamoto Haru gets a shot to the face, a couple shots now, puts Kotonawaka to the side and pushes through for the win! Another huge win for Wakamoto Haru as he upsets the undefeated Kotonawaka! And Kotonawaka will finally fall! Yuden, low charge, caught by Kotonawaka, inside right, locked in immediately. Yuden trying to break the grip, Kotonawaka pulls back, double inside, belly to belly. Yuden tries something at the edge, but nothing works. Kotonawaka regains that momentum, six and one. Kotonawaka and Takeyasu Kyujo. Takeyasu out once again due to back injury, and this time he won't be coming back. He retweaked it in his match yesterday. Kotonawaka will be taking the Fusen show and a day of rest, as well as now moving up into tied for first in the Yusho race is a great boon to Kotonawaka. We'll see how he does tomorrow in his match against Daiyesho. That should be a hot one. Daesho down and ready. Going for the charge is Kota Nawaka. Daesho planting a lot of good shots to the chest, but he's taking it slow. Kota Nawaka tries a pulling attack, pulls himself in, gets a grip on the belt, pushes forward for the Kachi Koshi. The leader in the Yusho race, Kota Nawaka, 8 and 1, will keep the pace with Ono Sho and Ono Sato. Otonawaka takes the charge, Ono Sato gives up a lot of ground, double inside, doesn't know how to fight it off, and he's out! A no-show in this match near the top of the bracket. Ono Sato completely dominated. He is not ready for the top. 22 to 4 in favor of Taiho. Will Kota Nawaka flip the record here? Oho with a strong push, but he gets pushed off to the side. Now his back feet are on the Tawada. Pushes back against the ring, but Kota Nawaka keeps his st stability underneath him. Oho gets blasted back. 10 and 1. Ono Show slips. 
That right foot slipped back after meeting Kota Nowaka at the Tachi Ai, and not really much of a match right there. In deference to the Yokozuna, the man who holds the number one rank in sumo. Let's see what happens here. Tenorino Fuji takes the charge. Kota Nowaka tries to get the arm, right hand inside, and he does. Tenorino Fuji tries to pull back for a throw. It doesn't work. Now Kota Nowaka back at the edge, and he is out of there. Tenorino Fuji, 7-0 in the head-to-head, -head, and now the race is blown wide open. It is anyone's game between the men and the Sanyaku. Tenorino Fuji, Kota Nowaka, and Kirishima all sitting at 11-2. Oh, showed you one win behind. He is not out of it just yet. But like I said, it is going to be difficult for him compared to the men sitting one win ahead. Complete dominance from the Yokozuna. It was to be expected. And I got to say, I'm a fool for putting my bet on Kota Nowaka. Kota Nowaka down and ready. All start from Kota Nowaka. It didn't really look like a real start there, just kind of stepped forward. I wonder if it's a mind game or if it is part of the strategy. Maybe it was just a false start. Now the brains are thinking a little too much. Remember to smooth your brain out so you don't overthink things. Kotonawaka, another false start. Is it nerves? Is he nervous? Is he a little bit shaky? Is he trying to force Kirishima in, in, into an uncomfortable spot? Is this a mind game? Or is Kotonawaka really just trying to push the envelope here? Nawaka down and ready. There they go. Stands up, takes the charge. Kirishima pushing forward. Hand on the neck. Left hand. Kotonawaka slaps it to the side. Tries to attack up high. Slaps him to the side. Kirishima's out of there. Kotonawaka with the win. And now, day 15 is way up in the air. Kotonawaka can win under his own power with a win tomorrow and a Teruno Fuji loss to Kirishima. Kota Nowaka can lose it tomorrow with a loss and a Teruno Fuji win. Kota Nowaka might be forced into a playoff against the Yokozuna, but one thing is for certain, Kirishima's Yokozuna days might be over before they began. Obizaru going up high to the chest. Kota Nawaka pulls back to the side. Nearly slapped him down there, but he kept his footing. Tobizaru back to the middle of the ring as Kota Nawaka tries to fight for the inside. Throws him to the side. Pushes him down by the back of the neck. Tobizaru falls. And Kota Nawaka eliminates Kirishima. There will be no new Yokozuna. But we see the rise of a new Ozeki. Kota Nawaka. Reborn. As Koto Zakura. 33 wins in three tournaments. That is the requirement to become Ozeki. And now there's a chance for a little bit more. Will there be a playoff? And that was a good match too. Better than Pele. <laughs> Kane and Taze. Well, I don't know too many names in soccer, so I can't really make that reference. But the time is nigh! Kotonowaka, Teruno Fuji for the Yusho. Kotonowaka does not get a Kinboshi. He is not a Maigashira. Standing up straight, it's Kotonawaka losing ground, double inside, Morozashi doesn't work, Tenorino Fuji inside right, pushing him back, Kotonawaka trying to pull, it doesn't work, but now he's gotten some stability, Tenorino Fuji switches the grip, inside left, Kotonawaka resisting at the edge, can he continue? No! Tenorino Fuji, his ninth win, his ninth you show. 
Colton Owaka. He put up more of a fight than the Ozeki. But he could not resist. He could not put up the defense against the Yokozuna. And he will fall. Colton Owaka bows his head in respect after the match. The Yokozuna is back, baby. A lot of people doubted him after that loss to Wakamoto Haru. And here he is finishing 13 and two. Colton Owaka, you have a lot to be proud of. Your Ozeki promotion is all but guaranteed. But your first U show cannot come today. Because the current Yokozuna is not going down without a fight.